variation of the theme. I lost it. Lost it. Lost it. O'Gara told to get back, almost wanting to give away the penalty, but Ireland's defensive line is now set as Muliaina finds Carter, who offloads to Nono, and there is a gap there, and the little kick through, and McCall's coming, but Bo stretches out a long arm and flicks it away. Well, it's a beautiful kick through, and does Bo get here? Well, I think that's a penalty. That's a penalty to New Zealand. It's a deliberate uh, act. He had to do it, of course. Penalty try. Is that what's being considered? Let's hear. of Green knocking the ball over the line. It's a penalty. I want to know if the action prevented a possible black player from scoring a try, in which case it will be a penalty try. Well, he's... Penalty or penalty try, I need to know. It's got to be more than possible. It's got to be a certain... Definitive. Definitive. Thank you, Grubbis. Well, the ball wasn't over the try line, it would seem, when Tommy Bow did that. Now... The question that the referee has asked, would he possibly have scored McCaw? Really, the question he should ask is, would he definitely have scored? The evidence, I think, if that it were the other way around, is we'd say uh, that's a penalty yeah, try. Yeah, I think, you know, McCaw, he was reaching, the ball was falling into the basket, as it were, and uh, Tommy Bow had no alternative in preventing the try. I think, you know, it's as, it's as certain as you're probably it's going to get. On. Yes, you're on. The ball was deliberately knocked into touching goal. Yes. Therefore, preventing a try being scored. Preventing a try being scored. What was the number? The number of the player guilty See, of the number, city goal. Number 14, green. Number 14, green. Oh, I think there's going to be a double right, punishment here. Number 14, green. 14, green is Tommy Bow, and he's going to get a yellow Where's card as well. Number 14. Which means he's going to miss the first 10 minutes That's of the a second half. That's infringement, preventing a try from being scored. It's a yellow card and penalty try. Well, I think once once the uh, decision was a penalty try, the referee had no option but to give him the yellow card, to be fair. Well, but isn't that just the All Blacks for you? You soak it up, you take it all, you find your way back in, and just for one moment, you relax. And as we came up to half-time, the they put the foot down the again. Try that would have been scored. Yeah. The penalty against your team is the yellow card for the infringement. The penalty try is not for the infringement, it's for the try that would have been scored. As O'Gara right, gets a hand to green. Conrad Smith and Cowan goes looking again. Dan Carter, all the possession still with New Zealand as Rokothoko and Nanu. On the loop, Nanonu, terrific pace, power, wonderful try. You give them an inch and they will take the proverbial mile and they've done just that. Nanonu scores his eighth try for New Zealand, created by Nanu. O'Connell picked out and you can see just how much he's struggling in defence. Rokothoko and Nano showed absolutely no mercy. But what a line from Rokothoko. Uh, really straight and it came back in against the, def the defence and uh, created a space for Nano and the All Blacks well. And time and a try. And Brad Thorne, well, he sauntered over in the end. Ireland were just stretched and they're tired and the tackle count is beginning to count. And as so often we have seen, the All Blacks keep pushing, keep threatening, and eventually do this to you. Well, it's just all so easy now, and again, Paul O'Connell struggling with that injury. But uh, the New Zealanders are just so powerful when they're in possession, the backs as well, and they can make ground. And uh, torn, well, very easy in the end. And, uh, that looks like game over, really.